What's going on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Reefer, coming at you today's video, which is how we prep an IBC toad to turn it into a pond. So, let's go. Okay, so it is a relatively simple step, as I explained in my previous video. I will leave a link above. <clears throat> there are these bars that run across the pond, uh, or the tote at the moment, should I say. I have unscrewed the ones at the back. Now, this tote requires the hex key of 30. So VT30 is the hex key that I need. I am going old school and using a pair of pliers because I've not actually got a socket set. Shout out to any sponsor that wants to actually drop on and send me a preload toolkit. That would be great. Um, but yeah, let me get these bars across, then we'll move on to stage two. So once you have uh, loosened them off, um, like I say, with the hex set, they are relatively uneasy. Um, they are relatively easy, uneasy, relatively easy to take out, should I say? That's the kind of fitting that I was talking about. A little hex. And like I say, the bolt is only that big, including the washer. So, like I say, take both of these out. See, I spoke too soon now. I've told you it's easy to take off once you've uh, unloosened it a little bit. And this one decides to be an absolute pain. Okay. That's it, that's it. I'll put the points to one side. Now it's just a matter of slotting out this bar. So it's got these little ring holders on it where you can put them back through. And there's a the second one out. Now, moving on to the next step, what we need to do is cut a hole in the top of the RBC tote. You don't need to keep the lid on this one. We just need to keep probably about a four inch about a four inch rim uh, and lift all the way around the outside uh, and that's just so we've still got the rigidity in the top of the bladder. Now again, as per normal, I don't have the right tools so I'm actually going to use a disc grinder on this to get through it. Now it does go through it an absolute dream. FYI though, if you are doing this, be super, super careful. I was doing it on the other two RBC totes last week and a bit of molten plastic actually spat up and hit me on the arm and I can tell you now it was not pleasant so hence today why i've got long sleeves on now let me come back to you guys in two seconds and i'll set the extension needle up and set the angle grinder up angle grinder all set up let me just quickly rip through the hole on here now i probably will put this on a little bit of a fast forward because it is going to get ridiculously loud and i can imagine it's not something that you guys are actually going to want to listen to So as you guys can see, that's now in there. Safe to say, no plastic burns today. The one thing that we have got to be careful of though, like I say for the time being, is the edges, because that is going to be some hot, hot plastic. As you can see, there's a little bit on the corner left on there. So all we'll do, we'll take the sharp part of the pliers, just this bit here, stick it in and crimp it off. That's that. So as I said, we don't really need the lids on this one. But you know me, I always try and save things and reuse them. I have kept the other two lids as well, so I'm probably gonna keep hold of them. Now, that's the sort of main top part of the Pope, the toe to take it out. What I'm gonna do now is put the bars back across and show you guys what stage three is gonna be in a follow up video. First of all, let me put you on a bit of a fast forward and we'll throw these bars in. Oh 
Okay. Thrust the bars back across. Let me just give you guys a little bit of a closer look. There you go. So that's the bars now running across. And in essence, all we do is we'll grab a tote, we fit the tote across the two bars. I am going to strengthen them up um, just by sort of re tightening them back up. But obviously, you guys don't want to see the boring bits, you only want to see the fun and interesting bits. Let me set you guys back up on here. There you go. So yeah, you guys don't want to see the boring bits, you guys want to see the oh, fun and interesting bits. Like I say, that is step one um, of the RBC tote build. I am going to do another video of a step two. The reason why I'm not doing it all in one go is my next video that you guys sort of, well it hasn't been recorded yet, but it's about to be in a couple of hours time. We've got six million pounds worth of Japanese koi turning up today. So that's why I need to get this pond up and running as a matter of ASAP which is why I'm just literally rattling through it now just to sort of showcase you guys how I do it in essence because I did promise that I'd show you how we do the IBC tote build on the last one. Now, next video, I'm gonna be showing you all about the box filter system that we set up, um, the different media types we've got in there, the different rocks, the different sponges, the different pads, the different filter flosses, etc., etc., etc. So it is gonna be a fun, fun build. This is, especially when you guys get to see this, you get to see the, some of the showcase quality Koi uh, that I've actually got coming in today, they're absolutely incredible. But yeah, as ever, thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel, if you can swipe up for me at the moment and either here or here, there will be a red subscribe button. If you can hit that for me, if you can hit that bell notification, that way then you guys will be able to see how I filter my RBC totes, what I'm stocking in here, and you'll also be able to watch the fish room grow. Also, I am all over social media. You will always get sneak peeks of my videos on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So my Facebook and Twitter is at the Building Reefer. Instagram is slightly different as normal. It's gonna be popping up somewhere down here. And that is at the dot balding dot reefer. Um, follow me on there, like I say, loads of sneak peeks. But as ever, stay safe, stay sane, stay happy, especially during all this COVID. But other than that, Baldy and Reefer, out.